Which is harder to achieve, 10 scoring titles or 40,000 total points? In order to score 40,000 points, you need to average 24 points per game or 2,000 points per season for 20 seasons. Only 6 players have ever played 20 seasons or more in the NBA, let alone score 24 points per game in each of them. The average points per game for NBA scoring titles since 1980 or since the 3-point line was introduced is an average of 31.16 points per game. So to win 10 scoring titles, you need to average 31 points per game for at least 10 seasons in your career. With these parameters, only two players since the three-point era got close, Michael Jordan and Allen Iverson. AI only has three seasons with over 31 points per game. LeBron only has one scoring title when he averaged 30 points per game in 2008. From a pure probability perspective, both feats are equally as rare as only one player achieved each feat. Now, if we widen the parameters to allow players who got close, more players did get close to 40,000 points than they did to 10 scoring titles. Kareem is 5% behind the 40k feet, Karl Malone is 9% behind, Kobe is 17% behind, and Jordan himself is 20% behind. On the flip side, Wilt is in second place with 7 scoring titles, which is 30% away from Jordan's 10. Kevin Durant and George Gervin each have 4, which is 60% away. LeBron only has 1, which is 90% away from Jordan's 10. From a purely mathematical perspective, it is more likely you get closer to 40,000 points than you do 10 scoring titles. Intangibly, you could argue otherwise, but the numbers favor the scoring titles. Titles. However, I don't think that this is a fair place to end this video. There is more to this world than purely mathematical hypotheticals. Let's do an intangible hypothetical. To elaborate, if LeBron and Jordan switched places, or if both restarted their careers with the knowledge of being on a mission to achieve each other's scoring feats, I think both players possess the ability to get the job done. If Jordan wanted 40,000 points and that was his only goal and he did not care about winning, he would most likely decide to not retire midseason twice, which would open up four possible NBA seasons. In Jordan's lowest scoring season, his final season retiring at age 40, he still averaged 20 points per game. Jordan currently has 32,292 points. He is just 7,708 points away. He only needs to average 23.5 points per game in these four missing seasons to get to that 40k. By the way, he played all 82 games on 37 minutes per game in his final season, so don't give me any longevity counters. Vice versa, LeBron only averaged 30 points per game just twice in his career. Career. Once when he won the scoring title in 2008 at the age of 23, and another time decades later in 2022 at the age of 37. LeBron James has a career 7.4 assists, that's 14 points on the table. But I don't think it's realistic to drop that assist average all the way down to zero, even if he wanted to be a score first forward. If that assist average dropped down to four per game instead of seven, thus increasing his career scoring average by six, his 27 points per game would jump to 33 points per game. Averaging 33 points per game from 2003 to 2024 would give him 17 scoring titles, and averaging 33 points per game from 1985 to 2003 would give him 14 scoring titles, depending if you want to round up or down on the winners. Would LeBron actually have these averages if he wanted to? It's certainly possible, but it would go against his play style. He would probably lose more games than he should, but I don't think he would lose a ton of them because averaging 33 points per game is still extremely productive but it would go against everything he's learned as a player. Which begs the question, is getting 40k points or 10 scoring titles just stat padding to begin with? Of course, that answer is a resounding no. Very rarely does a scoring champion miss the playoffs. Some rare instances include Steph Curry in 2021, Tracy McGrady in 2004, Russell Westbrook in 2015, and Pete Maravich in 1977, which means roughly 94% of NBA scoring champions play winning basketball. And even still, some of these playoff missing scoring champions still do have winning records. For example, Russell Westbrook went 45 and 37, but the West was just absolutely stacked back in 2015. On the flip side, every player in the top 10 all-time scoring list has either an MVP or a ring or both, aside for Carmelo Anthony. The point is though, you don't get 30,000 points by accident. Now I know there are instances in which some players knew that they were a few points away from either winning a scoring title or achieving a scoring record and focused on achieving it. For example, David Robinson in 1994. If you consider that stat padding, that is a slightly different story, but at some point one could argue that because Robinson won that final game, calling it stat padding is fruitless as a critique because stat padding should be a critique for those who achieve stats at the team's expense, not at the team's benefit. A more true example of stat padding would be like when Ricky Davis purposely
purposely tried to force a triple-double, and the NBA did not allow him to get that rebound back in 2003. Back to the topic at hand. Ultimately, both feats are ridiculously hard. If you exclude Wilt's Superhuman 7 scoring titles, Kevin Durant and George Gervin are the only ones with four of them. To ask them to go for 10 instead of 4, which means they would have to double their trophy count. And if you wanted 40,000 points, you would have to play 1,492 games and average 27 points per game in those games. What is harder? Mathematically, the scoring titles have a lower probability based on percentages, and intangibly speaking, while this one is a more disputed answer, you can form an argument that 40k is just physically more taxing and thus harder. But if push comes to shove, and if you want me to stop fence-sitting and I had to only pick one, I would lean towards the 10 scoring titles being the more difficult achievement, as more players got closer to 40k than they did to 10 scoring titles. But let me know in the comments below, which do you think is harder to achieve and which is more impressive? Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later.